Hello, my name is Rasmus Belmer and I'm a project assistant at the Aspen Institute, Germany. I'm joined today by Tyson Barker, who's a program director here at the Institute. Welcome, Tyson. Thank you so much. We are looking forward to Aspen's third annual AI conference taking place in Berlin on the 25th and 26th of March. The theme this year is Humanity Enabled, AI and the Great Economic Awakening. Tyson, why is this topic so important? Well, th thank you so much for that question. And it really is uh, maybe the most important question that we should be asking, which is artificial intelligence, major general purpose technology is going to change so many facets of our lives from uh, the way we do notaries to the, uh, the way that factories work to autonomous driving to the way that energy is apportioned throughout our cities. And that is going to lead to some major economic changes. Uh, it's going to increase productivity, that's clear, uh, but who gains from those increased productivities, be it people, be it states, be it sectors, these are big questions. And these are the kind of questions that we want to deal with in the conference. Can you tell us a little bit about what kind of sessions we can expect at the conference? Sure. So um, again, artificial intelligence, very important, coming online in many different industries at once. Uh, one of the first questions that we want to ask is, how is this going to change the competitiveness calculus for countries like Germany, continents like Europe, like China, uh, the United States? Who are going to be the principal beneficiaries of this new technology, both in terms of countries, again, but also in terms of workers. So what does this mean for productivity and the distribution of productivity gains? If most of the productivity gains that we're seeing in the future are from technology like artificial intelligence, what does that mean for the future of work? What does that mean for the dignity of work? What does that mean for automation? And how are, is this technology going to make people's lives better? These are questions that we want to deal with in the conference both through a range of keynotes, TED Talks, panel discussions, and at the end, just like last year, an Oxford-style debate that asks the question, or states the motion, let's say, that AI will be a net positive for workers and income inequality. And that's an area where there's a live debate here in Berlin, in Europe, and in the world. To which interesting speakers can we look forward to? Well, we have, we have a number of interesting speakers. We have, of course, uh, Martin Ford, a great futurist. We have Saskia Esken, who is the chairwoman of the Social Democratic Party here in Germany. We have a number of uh, politicians, member of the, members of the Bundestag, who sit in the AI investigative committee, who are really looking at what are the rules of the road for AI in the future. Uh, union representatives, representatives from major companies like Microsoft and Google, uh, the Heinz Dürer, the, the founder of the the Duer Stiftung will be speaking with us again, uh, representatives from the labor ministry and the economic ministry. So a great range of different types of speakers, all kind of confronting the same question is, how can AI make our economies work better? And what makes Espen's AI conference so unique compared to similar events taking place in Berlin or Germany as a whole? Well, it's, it's a, definitely a great question to ask. It seems like in Berlin, Brussels, uh, Washington, you can't throw a stone without hitting an AI conference. What makes ours a little different is that we really try to incorporate all aspects of society, all stakeholders, and make sure that we're having a values-driven conversation. So this isn't necessarily the conference that you want to go to if you're a VC, a venture capitalist, looking for the next big AI startup, although we will have representatives of the Ger German startup scene present at the conference. The questions we're trying to deal with are related to human dignity, uh, well-being, and social cohesion, and that makes this conference a little different. Thank you very much, Tyson, and we hope to see many of you at the conference.